So we and others have shown that Ebola has this really sneaky MO for getting into cells to start an infection. And what it does is it convinces the cell to take it up or engulf it into a membrane-bound structure called a lysosome. Once it's in the lysosome, the virus gets transformed into a new state that allows it to bind to one of our own proteins called NPC1. This is the cue for the virus to fuse with the lysosomal membrane and release its genetic material or payload into the cell. This payload reprograms the cell to churn out new viruses and the cycle continues. So in the case of ZMAP, we know that the three different antibodies grab onto the outside surface of the virus before it can enter the cell, and this allows the virus to be destroyed. ZMAP is great, but it only works against one strain of the virus, Ebola Zaire. As you know, there are other strains of the virus that also cause disease, and ZMAP doesn't work against them because the antibodies don't recognize these different viruses that look a little different on the outside. This allows the virus to escape the antibodies and start an infection. So the conventional way to solve this problem is to try and find these very rare antibodies that can bind to and recognize all the different strains of Ebola. We sort of jokingly refer to them as rainbow unicorn antibodies because they're so rare and special. If we had one, it would be able to bind to all the different strains of Ebola and destroy them. Here we took a different strategy and decided to focus on what happens in the lysosome. We know the virus has to bind to NPC1 in the lysosome, so we figured that an antibody that binds to NPC1 should be able to block the virus. Also, we know that the virus has to undergo the structural transformation that allows it to bind NPC1, and so an antibody that targets this structurally altered virus should also be able to block infection, and importantly, all the different strains of the virus have a similar structurally altered form. So a single antibody should be able to hit all of them. So problem solved, right? Well, it's not so simple. The virus can sneak into the lysosome, but the antibodies can't. We figured that one way to solve this problem would be to give these antibodies a way to hitch a ride into the lysosome. To do this, we gave the antibodies an extra arm that allows them to grab onto all of the Ebola strains. It's kind of like a skateboarder holding onto the back of a truck to get a speed boost. Once a virus unwittingly transports our engineered antibodies into the lysosome, the antibody's lethal arm can go into action, preventing the virus and NPC1 from coming together. This strategy prevents all the strains of Ebola from infecting the cell.